Hello, my name is Professor Floyd J. Winters. This lesson covers web page images. Let's first discuss images for a brief moment. Web pages use compressed GIF and JPEG and PNG files for images. These file formats are often more than 10 times smaller in size than a comparable Windows bitmap or BMP or big memory pig file. GIF files, also pronounced GIF, but always spelled G-I-F, are primarily for drawings and allow up to 256 distinct colors in a relatively small file size. JPEG files, spelled JPG or JPEG, use a lossy compression method where some visual quality is lost and cannot be restored. JPEG files can display up to 16 million colors. JPEG is the most common photo format. PNG, or Portable Network Graphics, is a newer image format that employs lossless data compression. PNG is an excellent photo format. Let's add an image to a simple web page. First, we should have an images folder inside our website with some sample photos which we were just looking at. We begin with the image or IMG tag. Here's our image tag. And we have a source attribute, followed by the path and our file name of the image. Let's take a look at what this looks like. And there it is right there. Here's our image. And the path is in the images folder. The alt tag allows screen reader programs to give a verbal description of the image to individuals who are vision impaired. So we'll add an alt tag to our project right here. And here it is. So we'll save this and we'll preview it and hover over here. And there's our alt tag. Notice how quotation marks follow both equal signs. Adding the appropriate width and height attributes allows your page to load more efficiently. Add those in. Note, do not resize large images by simply reducing their width and height attributes. Although they will appear smaller on the web page, they may take a very long time to load. You can make the image float to the right of a page by adding style equal float right. And we'll save this. And we'll preview it. And I left a quotation mark out, so we'll go and add our quotation mark in. And we'll save it. And we'll preview it. And it floats right. And there you have it. HTML images in a nutshell.